Kansas State beats West Virginia 26-20 on a cold Thursday night at Pusker Stadium. Style points lost all meaning Kansas State ran for one yard. West Virginia turned the ball over more often than it reached the end zone and penalty flags flew. Like confetti at a parade, the Wildcats walked away from the clutter as victors, beating the Mountaineers 26-20 for an important victory that keeps them even with Baylor and TCU atop the Big 12 standings. But you won't hear them bragging about much else that happened during their trip east in the days ahead. It was fitting that a small crowd, announced at 47,683, turned out for the game. The most exciting play of the night, a tipped pass that bounced off multiple players and ended up in the hands of West Virginia receiver Kevin White for an apparent touchdown, didn't even hold up after a replay review. Instead, the highlights included a 43-yard punt return near the end of the first half by senior K-State receiver Tyler Lockett, a clutch late field goal from Matthew McCrane, interceptions by Dante Barnett and Randall Evans and a career-high 400 passing yards from Jake Waters. The list of lowlights was longer, but one play stood out. During a K-State punt in the third quarter, the Mountaineers were flagged for running into punter Nick Walsh on one end of the field while fumbling the return on the other. The Wildcats declined the penalty and took over in prime scoring range, only to be denied a touchdown at the goal line, the lack of a reliable running attack. Even against one of the Big 12's worst run defenses, left them to kick a field goal.